Hey beautiful, it's Brielle with My Divine Movement and I'm so excited to have you here today in this video to go over five mistakes you do not want to make when giving your partner a lap dance, okay? So mistake number one you do not want to make is not knowing how to set the mood. If you do not know how to set the mood before you give a lap dance, this can have a huge impact on the way that you feel and the movement that you produce when giving someone a lap dance and not only the way that you feel, which is really important, but also the way that they feel and the way that they perceive the lap dance that you are giving them, okay? So you want to know how to set the mood to really bring extra life into the fabulous dance you are going to give somebody. Mistake number two is not having danced in a while and not knowing how to move your body sensually, okay? We do not want to get this image in our head. We maybe just watch like J-Lo on Hustlers or just watch this like exotic video on Instagram or YouTube or wherever it is. You're like super excited and inspired, which is amazing. But then you go to give your lap dance and you're like, Dang it, I don't even know how to move my body like that. And then you get awkward, uncomfortable, stiff as a board, and then the whole thing kind of ends like in this way that you just really don't want to go there, okay? So you want to know how to move your body sensually and move your body in a way that feels good for you and feels good for your partner. Mistake number three is wearing a pair of like eight inch heels. You don't want to do it. I've been there. I've done that. I've like rolled my ankle, fallen to the floor, especially if you have carpet. I just don't, if you're, this is like your first few times giving a lap dance, avoid the heels, whether they're two inches or eight inches, unless you're like an absolute pro in heels, go for it. Other than that, it can make it really awkward to navigate around your partner and on your partner if you're wearing this like extra accessory that just makes it a little bit complicated if you don't know what you're doing, okay? Mistake number four is getting drunk. You do not want to get drunk when you're giving a lap dance to somebody, okay? I know that maybe in our drunk mind, we think that it's a really good idea and we're feeling it and we're ready for action, but it really can just come off super sloppy to our partner. It can come off just, it, it just gives the wrong vibe and the wrong energy and we just really don't want to go there when we decide that we are going to do something special for your partner or for your partner for my partner whoever it is that you are dancing for you just don't want it to be sloppy okay so if you decide to have a drink that is okay limit it to one drink only one glass of wine one i wouldn't even take a shot i'd really just keep it to one glass of wine okay after that followed with Mistake number five. Mistake number five that you do not want to do is rush through your dance. You finally have like set it up, you're in your outfit, the mood is set, you know how to move your body, and you rush through it as fast as you possibly can because you're nervous. This can just make it so that you do something really special for your partner and then what should be like a three to five minute experience turns into a 30 second experience, okay? So it's important that we know how to slow down our movement, slow down our pace, slow down the this gift that we are gonna go ahead and give somebody and elongate it and really make a huge, nice experience out of it, especially if you're gonna take the time to do all of those things, okay? So those are the five mistakes that you do not want to make when giving your partner a lap dance. If you want to learn more on how to really give your partner the best lap dance that they have ever received, please go to mydivinemovement.com slash lap dance, or you can go ahead and click the link below. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me in this video.